We're working on our prototype at the moment, which will be completed in about four weeks. The prototype unit is a unit we do advance of the normal program so that we can have a look at design and make sure we've captured all elements. For a site, it feels very dynamic. Uh, Hutchies are doing a great job. They've completed, as you can see, this internal courtyard. So this will be finished with timber floors uh, and pretty much as it was a hundred years ago. So the program is proceeding exceptionally well. The morale is very high and uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to deal with a client who actually buys into the whole situation because there's been the challenges of unforeseen uh, circumstances that have come out of an old building such as this which we've, we've all shared together and actually worked through and, and overcome. It's so different to everything else we do so in that way it's really special. Something you wouldn't find here I think just got that special kind of feel to it. It's got its challenges only mainly because uh, we've got to maintain a standard and a quality that uh, isn't normally present in high rise. It's been good to work in a big team and work with other people. It's been uh, one of the biggest ones we've done. Deglazing in was difficult because we've got steg bars down the centres but uh, we managed to do that, it just took a bit more time. You know it's good to just get out all our tools on one job and know we're staying for a while and getting all the work done. So yeah, it's been a, a lot of work uh, but overall it's been great, yeah. Really enjoyed it. There's a lot of different challenges, a lot of things that I haven't done before. It's not a typical job for us. Timber construction is something that's not very common. We can't make every object 100% square, so it's dealing with the challenges. The client interaction with phrases and little details that we do, it's a lot of interaction with subbies and clients. We've managed to, together with Hutchinson, complete all the, the balconies and all the handrails in now. One of the main challenges we've found is finding the right people to do the job properly. Different skill set that you need to do heritage work. It was actually constructed in the 1880. It was the state government uh, immigration depot initially. Built off no concrete foundations, built off of uh, off the rock stone or the sandstone coming right way up and then built. And then in its years it's developed through two world wars uh, as, as a hospital. Commercial construction these days is obviously a lot different to, to how it was done back then, so finding those people, it's hard these days. Also internally, Hutchinson Builders have now divided up the house into the, the finished product. We have nine units active at the moment on the project, one being a display. We got unit four is the closest unit to be finished. So in that unit we got joiners and carpentries doing their first fix. Which gives us a real sense of space and, and what the finished product's going to be like. They, I think they can see the end, they're quite proud of what they're doing and it's, and it's a really unique product for everyone to work on. We've created a situation here that a change has come along is really unique. And with the liaisons with the client, with Fraser's and our staff, we've actually really interfaced really well as a long-term relationship in building this. This project, the house, can only be delivered by a team spirit and bringing it all together. 130 years in the making. 130 years in the making. 130 years in the making.